गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एज अ कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ डेज क्लास ऑफ द वीडियो दैट यू सो एस टूडे एंड एज ए कॉपी ऑफ टूडेज जूम क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू हैव दिस क्लास वन सेकेंड वी डिस्कस एक्चुअली अबाउट कंजेंशंस बेसिकली अबाउट कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजेंशंस ओके द फोर टाइप्स the what you call it, that comes in coordinating conjunction the cumulative conjunction or the conjunction of addition the conjunction of uh, uh, what you call opposition the conjunction of uh, uh, choice and the conjunction of inference okay we saw all those four yesterday now we are going into actually look into subordinating conjunction coordinating conjunction we saw is used to connect to coordinate clauses coordinate clauses means clauses that are of equal rank clauses that uh, can stand by itself that can convey a meaning that is what is a coordinate clause and two coordinate clauses are connected by a coordinating conjunction that's what we saw and there were four types we saw that now today we are going to see something called subordinating conjunction the second group i told you yesterday conjunctions are divided into two groups coordinating conjunction and the subordinating conjunction now we look at the subordinating conjunction subordinating conjunction is a conjunction that is used to connect one coordinate clause and one subordinate clause one coordinate clause you understand what it is a clause that can stand by itself okay that has a finite verb that has a subject that gives a complete meaning sometimes even equal to the sentence if you put a full stop it becomes a sentence that is what is a coordinate clause the subordinate clause is a clause that cannot stand by itself it needs the support or the help of other words phrases clauses in that sentence that is what is a subordinate clause let's look at do it in detail I have written an example here. I could not start the class on time because I had to check your names. This actually what happened during the Zoom class. Okay, the class was supposed to start at ten fifty, but I could not start it because I needed to permit you to all into the class, check your identity on that. So it's a reality that I am explaining that some of you would have. Uh, uh i already experienced it why i have told you earlier this kind of examples i tell you because it's easy for you to remember now this is what's the thing now i could not start the class on time if i put a full stop here it becomes a sentence though it is part of the larger sentence fine and then i had to check your names that is also another complete sentence it has got a subject it has got a verb and a predicate what you call an object here also subject verb and the object so they are both of them are two equal sentences now i told you coordinate sorry subordinating conjunction is a conjunction that is used to connect one coordinate clause and one subordinate clause now this as you said as i said you can understand it now when you use this because along with this sentence or as part of this larger sentence this get connected to this this cannot be separated from this that's a problem this get connected to this this cannot be separated from this okay so when that kind of situation comes now when you divide this sentence into clauses one clause will be i could not start the class on time second clause begins here because i had to check your name now what has happened this remains as it was earlier this not difficult it can start it gives you meaning now because of the addition of the word because here now it becomes an incomplete thing because i had to check your names actually becomes an issue for a person i mean uh, for us to understand when you say this the meaning is incomplete the meaning 
does not pass properly. That is what is the situation of this. Now it has become a subordinate clause because it cannot give a meaning. Is that clear? So a conjunction that is used to connect a coordinate clause and a subordinate clause is what is a subordinating conjunction. There are many of them, its categories and other details we learn tomorrow. Is that clear? Any difficulty? If there is anything, please contact me over the phone. I will be happy to explain it to you. Thank you.